it's interesting looking at American history. If you look at the United States of America, because technically I don't believe that much of any other history is different when it comes to empires and nation states. And you can't study any of this without understanding an empire. I've said it many times, every nation state on this planet right now runs exactly the way this Roman empire did. Everybody has a Caesar. I don't care what position you want to call the head of state position. And they have a Senatus Romanus. Look at the Roman Empire and the population that it was ruling over back then. There's more people in the state of Florida today. So these you got two senators that basically divide up the state of Florida when it comes to representation in the United States in the Congress. Although I contend that Congress is not there. They're just, it's the greatest show on earth. Uh, Ringling Brothers, call it whatever you want. If they want something done, they pass an executive order. That's the power of Caesar. That's the power of dictatorship. And any of these people that are running around, because, you know, we did two interviews here recently, and Brian was in a conversation back and forth on Facebook just this past week about some guy teaching. What's he teaching, Brian? Does he even know? It's teaching the Constitution, but focusing on, you know, the 14th Amendment and the Civil War, and that's when everything went haywire and you lost your rights. We're back to the same problem as always. Show me any document in the 1700s that gave them any rights whatsoever. And they want to focus on the Constitution Act when you have uh, Brown versus United States of America, and you got the original Chief Justice John Marshall ruling that the United States of America is the name of the original grand corporation. They want to believe in nonsense. They want to believe that when the nobility was given land grants called Virginia Company, Delaware Company, Maryland Company, Pennsylvania Company, I mean, it's amazing how now they're called states, as if there's something different between the word state and the word company. It's uh, unbelievable. People are believing in this nonsense that the nobility got land grants, and then they somehow or another decided that they didn't want the land grants, and they were going to turn it over to all their slaves and their subjects. And it often reminds me of the report from Iron Mountain where it says we have to create a more sophisticated form of peonage. 